All right, so this is me lifting the engine up by myself about two in the morning. Probably should not be filming this and doing it with one hand, but hey, whatever. That's it. That should be good there, I think. What do you guys think? Uh -huh. Man, this thing's going pretty good, huh? All right, so I got the front K member and the steering rack on this cart thing that I built. And I'm going to slide it into place. But it looks like I may, you know, no, I'm going to have to go up a little bit more on that engine. So I got this at Harbor Freight and I made this thing and uh, that's pretty much it. And I put a 4x4 four four across my rafters. And I put two by four, uh, two four by four jacks going down as, uh, you know, jacks to support it. So it's plenty strong enough, I hope, or you're probably going to witness me die. Okay. Let's see. Did we make enough clearance? Clearance. Chair just broke. That ain't good. You gotta get a little more clearance, Clarence. See, that's why you can't trust these old wicker chairs. What happened? Break right there. Ah. Whatever. I kind of need that thing too right now. All right, so now should be able to stroll on by. Are you kidding me? Oh, plug. Oh, there we go. Scooch on by there. So now it should just kind of roll in there. Take it up just a notch. Another notch. Oh. There we 
go. Doing this one armed for you people, okay? Let me tell you, if I had two arms, and somebody could film for me, I'd get this done a lot faster. All right, let's see. All right, yeah, we definitely want to pull these bolts out. That would be stupid. Set that there. Yeah. One more over here. That's our motor mount bolts, of course. Dun -dun -dun -dun. All right. And then we got steering knuckle bolt. It's got a nut or something underneath there. One sec. Alright, so now I gotta get the little steering knuckle in there. If I can show you guys. Alright, so you get that lined up and slid in to that slot right there where they both go together. So I wanna make everything go together happy. Like I said, every all this stuff is definitely a lot easier with two hands, but I want to give you people a good show. All right, well, you guys didn't get to see it, but I was fighting forever with this thing because dun -dun -dun, it has an indention. You got to put it a certain way, and I had it the wrong way. And it didn't want to go in. Look at it now. Like freaking butter. All right. So I got the K member all in. Finally got the. Steering thing situated, steering arm, ow. This is like three in the morning, so forgive me if I'm kind of out of it a little bit. Uh, this little cart thing I made really worked, worked out perfect for everything. And uh, yeah, I just made this out of two by four and then a couple of axles I had off of an engine stand. It lined up in there, see that? About to take that bolt, put it right through that hole. Same on the other side. All right, I don't got much battery left, so I'm gonna show you all real quick what I did. I right. grabbed a little come along and I chained it against the uh, transmission. Oh, there we go. Let's see if I, I grabbed a uh, come along and I chained it against the uh, transmission underneath the car here. And I looped it around the rear axle and I ratcheted it to bring the transmission back. And I've had a jack under here to lift the transmission. And up here, it's basically been working the, the come along back a little bit and see how I'll push that back and kind of lower it a little bit. We should be good. I got a very soft skull head da -da -da -da, da -da -da -da. i'm gonna help him get this motor in motor in motor in damn can you tell it's late or what
So I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up for tonight's video. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Drop us a comment. Midnight Garage shout out. Holla.